Shannon Sebago, I don't know if you can hear that music, but let me tell you something. It is bringing us to a place to get us a week and get us ready, of course, for another Tuesday. We are back to school and we're very excited because not just back to school for, you know, children that we've all been focusing on, but also the, let's say, the teens, even going into adulthood, talking, of course, about university. And we have with us this morning, Dr. Matthews. Good morning, Dr. Matthews. Good morning. Welcome Good morning, to the Now Morning Show. Sebago. Very excited because you're having a history fest. So what exactly is History Fest? Right, so History Fest is um, one of the major annual outreach programs of the Department of History of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus. It is an attempt to engage the wider um, public of Trinidad and Tobago into history. We don't want to keep it only in the halls of the University of the West Indies, but throughout the nation as well as the region. And when did History Fest begin? History Fest started in 2015. Um, the pioneer was Dr. Claudius Fergus, former senior lecturer and head of the Department of History. And his intention was, <clears throat> let's get history out there. It, we don't want to keep it on the campus only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things we were talking about off I asked, you know, is whether or not it's available to those who are not a part of the student body. Definitely, as a matter of fact, because it's one of our outreach programs, we try to invite as many people as possible to participate, and it's very easy to register. You just go on YouTube because we have it advertised there, and we have also used TikTok because we know our young people are <laughs> engaged in that kind of social media, and there is a page where you can register using the social media to participate in History Fest 2022. Mm. Now, Dr. Matthews, I was just wondering about some of the themes that might be covered in this year's History Fest. Right. So the major theme this year, because we are commemorating or will be commemorating 60 years as an independent nation, we are looking at our journey to independence, trying to trace the period before the movement towards independence, during independence, and after independence. Now, Dr. Matthews, you said it was an outreach initiative, so is it virtual or physical? Well, this year, and as well as last year, 2021, because of COVID-19 and the restrictions that that has imposed, we are <clears throat> having it virtual, but in the past, we have had it face-to-face, -face. but definitely this year, all of the activities will be taking place via Zoom, so it's mm. virtual. Sounds interesting. Well, in in your experience, you said it's been happening since 2015. Yes. So far, what impacts have you seen on the youth from these festivals? <clears throat> Definitely, we have been able to engage our young people, um, especially through our competitions like essay writing competition. We have had art competition. We have had spoken word competition. We have even had um, cricket with lecturers playing against students. Mm -hmm. So that um, <laughs> our objective of trying to reach out to the wider community definitely has um, been fulfilled to a significant degree. And also, um, one of the reasons why we are doing it too is to encourage more people to study history because mm -hmm. we know the importance of understanding that past, where you have come from, and how it has affected and will continue to affect the present and the future so that um, it is also a way of building up mm -hmm. our enrollment in mm -hmm. the Department of history. It sounds fun, I have <laughs> to say. I mean, as soon as you hear lecturers against students yes. in a cricket match, that yes. definitely is something entertaining. I know back in the day I would have definitely taken Don't part in something yes, like of that. Course. <laughs> Especially too, since um, in the past matches we have had, the lecturers have always lost. <laughs> 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 and the students have won. <laughs> you, so, okay, so we have exciting things. I heard you mention cricket, you've mentioned um, essays as well. Yes. What other events um, are part of History Fest? Right, so we also have, in terms of the serious side, um, we have panel discussions, we have round table discussions, and the difference between the two, well, with the panel discussions, um, the participants prepare their papers prior to the presentation, but with the wrong table, we give them a topic and they talk from the experience. Mm. So that for this particular um, chapter of History Fest 2022, we have, we'll be having people like um, Ferdinand Ferreira, who was one of the pioneer founders of the People's National Movement. And he will be talking about his experience with Dr. Eric Williams. Wow. And so we'll be having those two in particular. And then another thing we have done this year is we have reached out to the aged community especially those who were alive in 1962 and can recall their memories. And we have interviewed them and we'll be sharing those 
Tuesday, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. Because I was just about to ask uh, <laughs> Dr. Matthews when this is going to happen, you know, where it's going to take place, of course. Is there a Zoom link that we can look forward to and that sort of thing? Yes, so it's going to take place Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And as I mentioned previously, the Zoom link and the um, opportunity to register will be available on YouTube, is available already on YouTube. People have been commenting as well as on TikTok, as I mentioned. Nice. Well. Now, yeah. what has the response <coughs> been thus far? Pretty encouraging, <laughs> especially with um, TikTok. We have had some comment uh, commentators talking about that it is a wonderful initiative, that they are glad to see that we are not just being academics in our ivory towers, but that we are reaching out. So uh, the response so far has been quite encouraging. And Dr. Matthews, of course, I mean, you mentioned the cricket match and that kind of thing. Are we going to be seeing a return of this next year, maybe like a physical mm -hmm. history fest? Hopefully, actually, we are looking forward to the time when we would not be confined to a virtual space and that we'll be able to meet face to face. And if that happens, we will have the return of the cricket. <laughs> and by that time, we hope that our know, electorates will be able to bat and bowl a little better <laughs> so that we could win. Uh, and we do have a trophy at stake as well. Ah, nice. Yes. And um, this year, too, we have had to curtail the um, spoken word competition, which was a big highlight. But um, we are hoping that once we return to the face-to-face -face environment, that we'll be able to have those other activities and perhaps more. I, I, I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm hearing this practicing on this cricket and I feel like, you know what, you could just be biding your time a little bit. <laughs> yes, you're kind of glad for the two years. <laughs> little break so that um, we can, you know, improve our skills. Dr. Matthews, just to jump, well, we're still talking about History Fest, but in mm -hmm. a different context. Were, was the faculty able to host History Fest virtually? prior to this or well, mm -hmm. fully virtually? I think it was just because of the pandemic, we yeah. were forced into yeah. um, pursuing it in that direction. Um, but we have had a bigger reach as a result of going um, virtual. But prior to that time, we had it on the campus mm -hmm. in different halls, and but we did have good student responses. Sometimes like um, certain events, 600 students would come out, oh, wow. right? In the past, we have also had um, the First Peoples Community mm -hmm. on the campus sharing at the Alma Jordan Library, as well as the Baptist Community. Mm -hmm. Another time when our theme was on the Presbyterians, they too were invited and did come onto the campus and share the history of the Presbyterian Church in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, Dr. Matthews, aside from History Fest, I'm just wondering, as a lecturer in, in the History Department, we're celebrating 60 years. I mean, how does that feel? I mean, what is the energy in the mm. History Department right now? Well, it's positive. It's positive in terms of looking back at what we have achieved, but we also have to be realist and consider the challenges that we have faced as a nation in terms of taking care of our own affairs. I mean, we cannot ignore um, the coup of 1990, um, black power as well, um, racial tensions in the country, and the attempts of um, our leaders to try to merge and to bring those things together. I mean, we have done well as a nation, but there have also been some difficulties along the way that we are still moving forward in terms of building ourselves as a nation. So aware both of the positive and of the negative in building this beautiful Twin Island Republic <laughs> of Trinidad and of Tobago. Course, yes. I'm, I'm just going to jump a little bit off what Kimberly asked here, specifically being a lecturer, um, being of course in the faculty as well. You know, one of the things, as you mentioned, Black Power, and of course the coup and all these different things, is the fact that many times we look towards our universities, our educational institutions, to bring forth tomorrow's leaders to be the, you know, the movers and shakers of the next generation. Where you sit now, um, interacting with students every day, do you see that energy coming out of the student body? Yes, to a significant extent. We do have, for example, within the history department, a history society, mm -hmm. which is run entirely by students, and they take the initiative in discussing hard questions mm -hmm. that face our country from time to time, so there is some activism there. Um, we would like to see more of it, uh, you know, in terms of 
times when people like McCandle Dagger were on the campus and they will stand up and march and protest perhaps against student fees or other events taking place in the country. Not so much happening today. Our students are a little bit more concerned about getting that degree <laughs> in their hand. But um, in, in courses such as West Indian history, we do see students becoming animated mm -hmm. in discussions about things like the movement towards independence or even things like the 1930s labor movements with Uriah Buzz Butler and so mm -hmm. on where you know, they had activism and people fighting for their rights in the country. But we would like to see more of that. And we hope that as lecturers, we can pull that out of our students. I think you're definitely going to see it coming out of your <laughs> students. And I think the public as well. I have to tell you, Kimberly, I'm sure you're interested too, right? Yes, and it looks very, very, yeah. very interesting. I mean, um, Dr. Matthews, as they hear one more time, where we can go to get more information about History Fest. Right. So we do have a um, web page that mm -hmm. is the History Department. And it is online, so you just type in um, University of the West Indies History Department, and that could bring up a lot of information on History Fest and history in general. But as I said, it's on YouTube <laughs> and it's on TikTok. Nice. I will, I'm definitely going to be looking for it. I'm really interested, and I know a lot of other people will be interested as well. Dr. Matthews, on behalf of TTT, the Now Morning Show, Kimberly, Raucus, myself, thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning to come and be with us. and. Tell us a little bit about History Fest, just enough to know that we're going to want to be there. And I appreciate the invitation. Thank you very much for hosting us. And we do look forward to as many of you in the public joining us for History Fest 2022 as we traverse the journey to independence. Ooh, listen to that. Wrap <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. This is the Now Morning Show. We just heard from Dr. Matthews, a lecturer from the History Department at the University of the West Indies. Please stay tuned. There's more coming up after this break. Yeah.